In physics, it's very important to talk about uh, some of the basics here. So under kinematics, I'm going to be talking to you about vectors versus scalars, and then a few of these words like distance, displacement, velocity, speed, and acceleration. So I'd like to start with um, what a vector or a scalar is. So maybe we'll start off with a scalar. So a scalar is something, it's a quantity that has, um, well, just a magnitude. In other words, just a value. Okay, so what I mean by that, something has a magnitude, it means a length of some kind. Because if we talk about vectors, we normally draw them as arrows. Now, of course, uh, we can talk about these in more detail, but um, scalars are just things with magnitudes. Whereas vectors, those are things with magnitude and direction. So magnitude plus direction. So an example of that could be, uh, well, actually, maybe I'll just give you some examples here. So scalars just have a length. Vectors are things with a magnitude and a direction. Now vectors are often drawn as arrows. So for example, this is a vector. Now I can make it any length I want and I can make it any direction I want. So let's assume this is, uh, if this is like north and east and south and west, and this is something that's sort of northeast kind of. Of course I could actually measure that angle if I wanted, that angle theta, and I could give it a value. So maybe I make it uh, 10 meters long. So now this is a vector that represents 10 meters long at some angle. So this is a vector. If something is a scalar, that's a quantity that only has a magnitude. In other words, only the length matters. A direction is not meaningful. So maybe what we should do is do a, a little table of things. So uh, maybe we'll look at something like, um, well, a quantity. That might help to know about. Uh, and maybe then we'll look at what symbol we use for it. Uh, maybe we look at what units we use for it. Maybe then we do a description of it. And then last, maybe uh, just add like a vector or scalar. So I'm going to do a little table. Maybe that'll help. So let's just do a table here. So, so here, I'm not very good at drawing straight lines apparently, but that's okay. So here we go. So we have some different quantities with symbols and descriptions. So one of the things we can look at is distance. So the distance somewhere, that we're going to use a symbol. And now um, some people use D for it, or some people use an S. I'm going to look at the S one. Now this is a uh, less common one. That's just why I wanted to put it in here. Most often you'll see it as a D. But you'll notice we don't draw a little um, arrow symbol on top of it. See, just below it, I'm going to show you something called displacement. And you'll see that these two are like cousins of each other, except displacement gets a little arrow symbol on top. Now, what a lot of people do is instead, like in textbooks, they'll write a vector will be something that shows up as bold, whereas um, something as a scalar only will be something without any bold. So now the units we use for distance, well, we measure distance in meters, just like we measure displacement in meters. Of course, if you're American, then you probably do it in feet and in inches, but uh, the rest of the world seems to do everything in meters, so I'm going to use that. So description, that's just the distance traveled. So this isn't exactly too crazy hard. Okay, so this, this is the distance traveled. Now, if we look at this one right here, displacement, that's the distance traveled uh, in a particular direction. What I like to look at it as, instead of this, I like to say it's your distance from start point. I prefer that way of it. Now if we look at vector versus scalar, well this one right here is a scalar. This just means I don't have to say what direction it's in. I just say I've traveled, let's say 10 meters, that's it. Whereas displacement, that's kind of your distance from your start point, but you have to say it in a direction. That's because it's a vector. So there's a vector and a scalar version of distance. Okay, so there's distance or there's displacement. Now some people use 
a D here, and some people here use a D with a little line on top. That's okay too. Now what if I'm looking at something like this speed? Speed of something is written with a V, and that's measured in meters per second. Now some people write it meters with a slash per second, but I'm going to use this notation here from now on. So that's going to mean something, um, well this means a negative exponent here. So that means you drop it down to the bottom. And this is something that is a rate of change. Um, and here we can say of distance. So this is basically how distance changes with time. So if you look at calculus, well, this we can say its equation is like this, delta dis uh, distance over time. By the way, I should probably put little lines right here just to separate these. So there's this one, and then there's this one over here, like that. So there we go. So now I have my speed. It's just how the distance changes with time. Some people write it as delta d over delta t. That's also the same thing. So uh, speed is change in distance over a change in time. And this is a scalar. So in other words, you just need to say what value it is. You don't need to know what direction it goes. Whereas we have something called velocity, and that's the vector version of speed. So this is obviously a vector. Maybe I'll make these lines a little bit longer here. There we go. So if I have this, this is still measured in meters per second. And this is a rate of change of displacement this time. So this is how the displacement changes with time. So in other words, I can say V equals, well, delta S over delta T, but this time the vector version. So that's how I can say that I have a velocity. And finally, very last thing is going to be acceleration. Now keep in mind there's a lot more quantities that are vectors versus scalars. Okay, in physics we have tons of things, and in fact everything can pretty much be written as either a scalar or a vector. So for example, um, another scalar quantity, something that doesn't make sense to give a, um, a direction, could be something like, oh let's see, oh, oh I could say time. Time is something that's just a scalar. We don't say uh, the time elapsed is 8 seconds west. Right? That makes no sense. So that's something that's a scalar only. But we have acceleration, and we use the letter A for it. And I'm going to put a little vector symbol on it. And it's meters per second squared. Or, uh, well, yeah. So it's meters per second squared. So this is actually defined as the rate of change of, well, the velocity this time. So if you know calculus, this would be something like this. Acceleration is equal to delta V over delta T. And I'm actually not using pure calculus notation, but that's okay. What it just tells you is if you have a change in your velocity over time, then you have an acceleration. This is also something that's a vector. Now, we can uh, take a look at this then and try to think about, well, what's the difference between a vector and a scalar? What's the difference between distance and displacement? So let's just say I did something like this. What if I start in a square, let's say. So I, let's say I start here, and I go, let's say, 10 meters this way. Then I go 10 meters to the right, then 10 meters down, and then 10 meters this way. So this is always 10 meters all the time here. So 10 meters and 10 meters. I could be asked, what's my distance traveled? Well, it's going to be 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10. So in that case, my distance traveled will be 40 meters. But my displacement, that's my distance traveled in a direction. In other words, it's like your distance from your start point. So if I consider that, think about this. I started here, and if I finished here, that means my displacement is actually zero. Now, it all depends on where you finish. So displacement totally depends on where you start and where you finish. But again, just to explain it, so there is a difference between distance and displacement. One is a scalar, and that just means the total distance traveled. One is a vector, that's the distance traveled in some direction. So you have to give the direction. And sometimes, actually often, distance and displacement are actually different.